MailMerge sends individual personalized emails and automatic follow-up sequences to a list of people all at once. In this lesson, we'll learn the key features of a MailMerge, how to add recipients from your pipelines or a CSV upload, create your first message, and test our messages before hitting send. If you're already familiar with MailMerge, skip to the following lessons to learn how to use the automatic follow-up features. MailMerges send individual emails to people in our pipelines or from an imported email list without using the CC or BCC fields. We can customize each message with variables, and since it comes from your email address with no streak branding or ads, it appears and is treated just like a regular email that you would send. The first way to create a mail merge is right from our pipeline. Just check the boxes that we want or select an entire stage and click the mail merge icon at the top of our pipeline. We could also use a saved view to target specific boxes. For example, we could try to get a response from boxes that haven't had any interaction in seven days. Keep in mind that Streak has a rolling 24-hour email send quota that's based on Google's email limit. The related article below has more details and we'll also dive further into that in a future lesson. Now that we've selected the boxes we want to use for our mail merge, click the mail merge icon at the top of the pipeline. A new mail merge will allow us to create a completely new message and follow-up sequence to send to recipients. Adding recipients to an existing mail merge allows us to reuse a mail merge sequence that we've already written. For example, we can use a mail merge over and over again as we have new leads coming into our pipeline or any other time you want to add people to the beginning of an existing follow-up sequence. We'll learn how to work with existing mail merges in the next lesson, but for now, let's create a new one. Once we do, we'll have our compose window and a recipient list to the right. Streak automatically pulls in the email addresses of our Streak contacts in each box. We could also choose to send the mail merge to starred contacts or select a custom contact column, like our column tracking decision makers in each opportunity. Streak gives us a heads up in the recipients list if we previously emailed that person. Click See History to go to the full interaction timeline on that person's contact page. If we want to remove anybody from the mail merge, just hover over their name and click the X. Next, we'll fill out the subject and email body of our message, and this is where we can start having fun with personalization. We can use the data in our columns or contact details as variables in the message. Click Insert Variable at the bottom of the draft and start adding some personalization to our message. If you don't see this option, you might just have to click More Tools to find it here. Scroll over the list of recipients to preview how your variables and message will look for each person. If there's an error with any of our variables, maybe we don't have that piece of information for a certain contact, we can fix it before sending our messages. If we know the missing information, just manually add it and Streak will save it to the person's contact or box so you have that information moving forward. Otherwise, we can set a fallback option that would work for any recipients that have errors with this variable. When we're ready, we can send a test to our own inbox to see exactly how the message will appear for the recipient. Click the preview icon next to the recipient's name to send yourself a version of the message. It's a good idea to only send relevant information to people who you've already been in contact with or who have requested to receive information from you. This will help you avoid being marked as spam or bumping up against Google's spam policies. You can learn more about this and some best practices in the related article below. Once we're happy with the mail merge, we can send it now or schedule a time to send it later. Check out the next lesson to learn how to add automatic follow-up messages to a mail merge like this. In the beginning of this lesson, we also mentioned a couple other ways to start a mail merge and add recipients. Streak allows you to upload a CSV file of recipients if they're not already in your pipelines. To upload a CSV, click the Compose icon to write a new email and choose Mail Merge to the right of the To field. Click Upload CSV to select a file. At a minimum, the CSV needs to include a column for our recipient's emails. If we want variables, 
include a column for each piece of data, like first name, business name, or products that they're interested in. Make sure we have a header row to name each column so we can reference them in the mail merge. Once we've uploaded our CSV, it's the same process to create a mail merge. The only difference is that we'll use the section variables from CSV file to customize our message. Finally, you can also open a Compose window to start a mail merge by clicking the plus button next to Mail Merges in the left-hand menu, or by clicking the plus button in the All Mail Merges section. From here, you'll have the option to upload a CSV file or choose recipients from one of your pipelines. In the following lessons, we'll show you how to add automatic follow-up sequences and how to manage existing mail merges.